Hi guys, welcome to Dragonflight Season 2. I'm super excited about this season and I'm going to be making a ton of these Mythic Plus videos this tier. Um, the first one here is a trick from Neltharis and if you see here I'm mousing over this burning chain and picking it up. And this is in the, in the first uh, downstairs area before Chargath, uh, which is one of the bosses. And you'll see when I drag the chain over the trash there, it, uh, it actually blows up and does a lot of damage to the trash. So um, this is uh, something you should know. There's there's more of these around, and you want to keep an eye out for these um, these skulls that are kind of on the ground here. So here it is in slow motion. I've picked up the chain, and I'm going to drag it over the trash here. I'm communicating with my tank. Now notice here it does a huge burst of damage to everybody, and that's because we're all kind of stacked on the trash as well. So you don't want to actually do that um, because the chain blows up when it hits the when it hits an enemy. And see here you have uh, some more chains. There's one on the right by the door there. Uh, we didn't pull that trash back into it, but that's something you would do as well. So here's after Chargath, there's actually some chains as well. And you'll see, um, yep, it blows up the uh, the, the trash, um, does a lot of damage to it. So you definitely want to be using these. Um, strategically, there's going to be much more, you know, um, it's going to, people are going to figure out kind of what the actual pulls are you want to do with these chains and, and, um, and whatnot. But and, and here's another one we tried where we're going to grip the Demon Hunter through the through the trash, you see? Um, and it stuns all the trash. It does about 25% damage to them. Um, now, ideally, you want a, a person that's going to survive doing such a thing, right? Because it does a lot of damage to the person holding the chain. So you want to actually have someone with a personal cooldown active or uh, perhaps even the tank would be a good option if you want to grip the tank. The tank picks up the chain. You grip the tank through the trash. That's probably a good thing to do. Um, so here it is in slow motion again. You'll see our demon hunter go over to the chain, and we're gonna grip uh, the demon hunter back across the trash. Um, and and he's gonna use, I think he uses blur. I, I don't remember. Um, one thing to note is when you pick up the chain, you get a three minute debuff where you cannot pick up another one. So you need uh, multiple people to do them. Um, I think there's about five or six chains throughout the dungeon. So you know, as you're doing the dungeon, keep an eye out for these and, uh, and definitely use them. It's going to save you a lot of time. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope your dungeons are going well. I uh, hope they're going a little bit better than mine. Um, but if you want to watch me live, you can check it out at twitch.tv slash grumpsy underscore gaming. Um, I'm doing dungeons. I'll be doing dungeons died, all week, like have, uh, trying to learn all the new stuff, the new tech. Sure. Yeah, uh, so come change. hang out. I'll uh, be happy to see you there. Big lusters. Big. Hey, we're timing a 17, which is basically a yeah. 30. Yeah, 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 that's the sound number. That's exactly right. With a 404. You're definitely the lowest high level tank that's ever done this. <laughs> Aspects crests, we're doing it. Oh, I need two more for fucking craft. Fuck it. Yeah, I need you need more. two more? How many keys have you run, you absolute um, fiend? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, right, I'm re-rolling Nothering's Lair. 